Not whether water is a necessity, but at the Adams County Jail, this is day three without consistent running water. Denver 7 has learned of water main break reduced water pressure to a trickle on Friday. Inmates have bottled water for now, but repairs won't occur for several more days. Denver 7's Rob Harris goes inside the jail and hears from family members calling for a faster response. There's a constant stream of water running from the Adams County Detention Facility across the parking lot and onto the street, away from the inmates inside. I was horrified. I was, I was totally disgusted. I literally threw up. And then, of course, I'm worried about my son's well-being. Margaret Endicott's son, Zachariah, is one of the inmates inside impacted. So She's worried about his health and safety as this drags on. My son didn't have COVID till he got here. Now he has to deal with this? It's not right. The Adams County Sheriff's Office tells us roughly 300 of the more than 900 inmates inside are being impacted by the water main break. The water pressure in the impacted areas of the jail have been significantly reduced, so inmates have to stagger showering and use buckets of water to flush toilets. They're treating them unjustly. They're being really cruel. You don't even do that to animals. I would hope not. We went inside the jail with and Sheriff Rick Reigenborn and asked him why repairs are being stalled until Tuesday. Can. We're afraid that if we dig up that main break, we're not going to be able to get the parts needed to fix it. If we can't get the parts we need to fix that, then we'll have to shut all the water off to the facility completely. And so we figured, some water is better than no water as we go through this problem. So is there an option to move inmates that are in the impacted part of the facility to a place that has consistent water? So currently, no. We're currently holding about 948 inmates. And so to move um, a number of inmates into those areas would overpopulate those areas. And in the meantime, pallets of bottled water are being brought in for drinking. And the sheriff says he's optimistic the issues will be resolved Tuesday. But for Margaret Endicott, that's not soon enough. This is the worst, the worst. And I, I just can't, I can't fathom the idea that they have to be like this. I understand things happen, but this is taking too long to unhappen. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. Rob.